start recording. Hi, everybody. It's Agnes, and I'm doing another Valentine's interview for the series of seven men. And today it is with Tom. Hello, Tom. Hey, Agnes. How are you going? Good. Thanks for coming on today. Thanks I want to tell me. the viewers how you and I just, no problem. No problem. I want to tell people how you and I met because it was kind of this random meeting. Um, Tom, yeah, for those so of you, awesome. yeah, I was Tom. I'm actually friends with Tom's auntie and I'm staying with her at the moment while I'm in Sydney and Tom happened to come over and he had dinner with us and we started talking about different things. And then his auntie said after he left, when I said to her, I still need one more interview. She said, why don't you ask Tom? So this is how you and I connected. So (laughs) (laughs) just a random weird doing meeting. Yeah, exactly. And I got a free dinner out of it too. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, we made good fish and uh, Mm -hmm. and, uh, potatoes that night. Those potatoes are great. They were, they were. So we're going to start with just talking about Valentine's Day from a man's point of view. What do you think about the whole lead up to Valentine's Day? Do you find it is a pressure? What do you think about it? Um, I think uh, for a lot of the time when like I've been alive and Valentine's Day has been around, I haven't had a girlfriend or like a full on proper been in a proper relationship. So from that point of view, I've always thought it was just like a bit of crap, to be honest. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Never really bought into it. And then I suppose as I've got into a relationship, my opinions changed a little bit. Um, I don't think you should need a day to remind yourself that um, you should buy your girlfriend flowers or gifts or that kind of Mm -hmm. thing. So from that perspective, I don't like it in that way, but I do like the idea of you know, having a day to celebrate love and there's all these yep. days we celebrate certain days and the fact that we've got a day for that is pretty cool to see everyone out and about and have a good time. Um, mm. But certainly, yeah, there is the commercial aspect of it, just everyone yeah. driving it as a, as a money maker. <laughs> so um the fact that you've got to be buying roses and chocolates and all that i find a bit yeah um yeah a bit of a joke but yeah you grew up with a lot of women around you though because my friend that is sister with your mom they've got a big they're all women there's there's five sisters yeah yeah so and, you, and your, your mom's yeah. the first one yeah so mom's the oldest um, yeah mom's got brown hair and then there's four sisters and they're all um redheads which is kind of funny. yeah yeah <laughs> um but yeah yeah there's uh, four aunties so yeah plenty of women i've got yeah um mum had all boys though so myself ah. and then my brothers are twins so um yeah surrounded by boys and then i suppose you're close to girls in school yeah yeah do you think having so many women around you i mean you had your brothers but your extended family with so many women around, do you think that it affects how you are in relationship? Um, uh, I think so. I think you sort of see how um, women should be treated properly and um, respect for women. But I wouldn't yeah. say it like particularly put any pressure on the way I've been in relationships. I kind of um, guided by that from um, my dad and, and yep. brothers and friends, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, sometimes you see great examples of great relationships and um, that influences you in a positive way when you get your own partner yeah. and your own relationship. Yeah. You've Do got you to think? You to test them out and learn yeah. certain things, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong and <laughs> all that jazz. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You... As a man, do you expect anything for Valentine's Day or you just don't care either way? Nah, I don't really care either way. Yeah. Just, you know, happy to have a night out with my girlfriend, I suppose. Yeah. They can be rare, I suppose, because we've both got very hectic and tight schedules. So yep. any time we get together is good already. So um, yeah. I don't expect any presents. Can't buy, can't yep. really buy like flowers. So, um, no, no. 
<laughs> do you think you enjoy more time with her than gifts? It's more of yeah, a time. Sure. Yeah. 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 Our relationship the last year, um, the, the most important things about us have been experiences and sharing those things with each other, like traveling and um, yep. climbing the Harbour Bridge, things like that we've done together. Ah. So, yeah. Things like nice. that are more important than gifts to me. And yep. we, 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 yeah, we both have share the same opinion, which is good. Mm. But at the same time, Just, you know, I like to I like to give gifts, and um, not because I feel like that's helping me um, improve or anything, but just you know, it's good to see your partner smiling and happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's coming more from the heart than from yeah, the ob exactly. obligation. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. Yeah, I don't really care about money, so mm. you know, I'd rather make someone happy and yep. use it on myself. Yeah, nice. Nice. Just for the viewers, so they know, I mean, this interview we're doing in Australia, are you 100% Australian, mum and dad, both? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose there's background and heritage like further down the line, but um, I'm about as Australian as it gets, as you can probably yeah. tell from my accent. Some people <laughs> say I've got a pretty Aussie accent, I'm borderline <laughs> Bogan territory, so um, yeah, it's Aussie, but we've got um, We've got a bit of Irish heritage, Scottish. Dad's actually got um, a little bit of um, Indigenous in him. So he's got, I think he's um, one-eighth Aboriginal. I think. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. There's, there's a few different mixes in, in our heritage, but, um, yeah. yeah, basically pretty full-on Australian. Nice. That's funny you say that because when I go to London, people go, oh, you're from Australia, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, go, I think I'm detecting that's not a good thing from where you're standing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we might say the same thing about them when they come too. <laughs> I know. It's so funny, isn't it? Whereas the, um, the, the Americans and the Canadians think we sound so posh, you know. <laughs> it's just so yeah, funny. Exactly. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. Oh, well, that's lovely. And how long have you been with your girlfriend for? How long is this relationship um, for you? Just over a year. So, okay. um, yeah, the most serious and best one I've had. So, um, yeah. yeah, so far, very good. Very happy. So Lovely, lovely. Yeah. You know, it's the reason I ask you that is because on my channel, a lot of people come to my channel because they wanted to date a spe specific person. And yeah they really, really like to know about how people have, you know, manifested a specific person. So did you have that before you met her? Was she in your sights before you got together? Um, it was pretty funny, actually. Um, I think we were both kind of at like crossroads in our life and making a few changes. And um, I was just down at the um, bar in Coogee, the Coogee Pavilion. And yeah. um, I was with my brothers and stuff. And I, I'd actually just stopped drinking. I'd cut out drinking out of my life. Yeah. Um, so I, was, I suppose finding a bit of a challenge being out at night and, and mm. Sinead, my girlfriend actually literally just walked across the room up to me and introduced herself, which has never happened to me and my wife. Um, wow. So, yeah, that was how we met and, um, we, we chatted for like a good half an hour and then I had to leave and, um, but yeah, we went on a few dates and the rest is history, but wow. it was kind of like one of those meant to be kind of moments I, I feel. Did you have a desire prior to that night? Did you have a desire for a relationship kind of building over time or you not, weren't even really thinking about that? Yeah, I think I was kind of sick of being single, but I wasn't yeah. like going out of my way to find a girlfriend. Yeah. So it just it happened at the right time and I had a lot of good changes going on and it was good to have that yeah. support at the time. So, yeah. Lovely. Very lucky. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I find like the better your mental state is, like just the fact that you were giving up drinking said you were already going into a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. And, and at your age in your twenties, like that's quite unusual. That usually happens in your thirties and forties. Like people hit yeah. the wall and they go, oh, I've got to stop doing this, but you're doing it way earlier. Um, so that's yeah. a cr cr credit to you. Mm, yeah, it was a good change. I did it for, 13 months, had a few drinks overseas yeah. recently, but I'm yeah. back um, off the drink again. So yeah. I don't really, I don't know if I'll do it much more. Yeah. It saves me money. Yeah, it does. Look, I'm the same. I probably drink one glass of wine a month or something. So and I don't miss yeah. it. Mm. 
I'd rather yeah. go on holidays with that money. I'd rather travel. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather, so much better. Yeah. 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 That's so true. you and I had a chat the other night and we were having dinner about that you are in an industry that you've been in for a while and now you've started a podcast on the side. So what is, yeah. what is your podcast? Cause I know you were quite passionate about it. Yeah. I just, um, my main passion in life is I suppose sport and, um, I love NRL rugby league and cricket and talking about, um, AFL as well. So I just yep. wanted to get together a podcast so I could talk about that on the weekend. I thought it'd be good to have friends on there and share some stories and, Yep. I just thought it'd be a good laugh and a good way for me to pursue that passion outside of work. So um, I listen to yep. a fair few podcasts and I love listening to them. So I thought, I'll, why not give it a crack yeah. and get myself a little bit of a goal on the side. So yeah, did one on the weekend, my first one with my dad. Um, we we're really comfortable chatting with each other and thought it'd be a good way to start and get the ball rolling. So lovely. Yeah, and it's, and it's, your and your dad exciting. was a, he was a sports person or still is. He was a really talented cricketer when he was um, 18. Okay. He was, um, like, played New South Wales schoolboys and he's played first grade cricket for a club at 19, which is a really big achievement. And he was sort of looking like cracking it somewhere, like going somewhere with cricket, but he had some back yep. injuries. And um, like most young people at that age, enjoyed going out and, and drinking and all that. And that sort of hampered his back. And mm. um yeah, he just he hurt his back and he couldn't continue with it. So, yeah, 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 that does happen, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to put a link to your podcast yeah. down below. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, that. yeah, so that people can start listening. And I'm also going to send you the interview that we were talking about the other night with you, me, and your auntie, that fantastic yeah. podcast. And I, I interviewed that guy for this series of Seven Valentines Guys. So I'm going to send you that podcast. Oh, yeah, um, wow. Yeah, it, you, it will blow your socks off. It's such a great interview about sports as well about mindset. It's brilliant. So brilliant. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm really keen to see it after chatting about it. Yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you and um, you can have a listen. So before we go, is there anything else you think that you might, you might want to mention, whether it's about the podcast or about relationships or about women or about you know anything anything that comes to mind um oh just about the podcast for people to have a listen yeah <laughs> but, um, yeah um i suppose nothing nothing too much more to add about um yeah. valentine's sure. day women just as Short long as you sweet. know i think it's an essential thing for people to be happy but um yeah. people need to make sure they love themselves and then find the right partner. And I think that's the key to yeah. life. Yeah. Making sure you're happy on those levels and yeah. you know, material things aren't the, the things that should drive you. I agree. I agree. You know, I talk a lot about self-love on the channel and, you know, mm. so many, so many people are looking for someone else to love them. And then they end up in these relationships that are full of difficulty because you've, you can't, you got to have your self love and bring that to the relationship, not be trying to get love and yeah, suck exactly. it out of someone. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what would you say your self love? I mean, you gave up drinking. That's a self loving thing to do. What other things would you say you do to, you know, do you exercise? Do you eat good food, healthy? Do you, what sort of yeah. things do you do? Yeah. Exercise is a big one. When I stopped drinking, I did a, um, a boxing challenge last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that really kept me motivated, got me like really fit to a level that I've never been before. And um, it was good just to test the mind. And because um, yeah. I had a goal set and I was able to achieve that. And it yeah. was a charity fight and I won the fight, which is good. So mainly, yeah, I think just exercise and eating well. You know, when yeah. you don't feel well and you're, you're eating crap and junk and your body just mm. doesn't feel good at all. So if yeah. you're exercising, eating well and those that surround you are. Um, everyone's happy around you, then um, that's that's a key to me. I know community yeah. for some people is really important. So yeah, I agree. It's got to be the physical stuff first, the basics. Drink yeah. lots of water, eat properly, exercise, sleep enough. Because if your yeah. mind's not yeah, clear, sleep's, sleep's important. Yeah. yeah, not just four hours. You need at least you know doesn't have to be eight or nine, but it could be somewhere between six and eight. 
it's usually, you know, good yeah. so that you're fresh when you wake up. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. No. yeah lovely. Definitely. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Tom, thank you for coming to talk to us today. It's good. It's just good no to hear worries. everybody's doing their little bit in their own little way. It's nice to actually bring people together and hear how people do stuff, you know? Yeah, no, it's good. So, thank you so much for having me. Much my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, we'll say goodbye. And you, Tom, just stay on and you and I'll say bye in private. Bye, no everybody. Worries. Tom, See do you, you want to say goodbye to, say bye to everybody? Yep. Cool. See you, everyone. Have a good day. Enjoy Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, exactly. And bye, everybody. And I will see you in the next YouTube. Hope you enjoyed Tom from Sydney, Australia. And I'm not telling you exactly where he lives because that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everybody. Um...